Hey cousins, Simon the Scammer says Portia is a dub dub. And I'm like, we agree with you, Simon. For once, for once, we agree with the scammer. That Portia's a dub dub. Ah! <laughs> and did you see the new girlfriend? I gotta come back and do the video. Did you see the new girl? I like the new girlfriend better. Hi, Portia. You went over to that woman's house, saw that woman's husband, and what she got, and wanted what she got, and Mary had this worldwide wedding. Then he done turned around and cheated on you. Uh huh. The seeds you plant, <clears throat> you will get the harvest, boo boo. And you know what? You know what I noticed? You know what I came to me? Time is speeding up. It's not taking years and years and years anymore for you to get your harvest. It's happening like bam, bam, bam. You cheated with Simon and now cheat. Simon is cheating on you. Where's that cute girl? She's so cute. I was like, go ahead, girl. Mm, go ahead, girl. Yes. I was like, yes, pretty girl. New, new Simon, new girlfriend. I'll come back and do the video on his yacht, standing by his car. Yes, honey. Because that's what Portia did to Fallon. And now somebody else is doing it for you, to you. This is why, ladies, single ladies, stay away from these married men. Married men, stay away from women that's not your wife. First of all, you married men that's going out here, stepping out on your wife. First of all, you're opening the door for curse to come on you and the new woman. And single woman, when you cheat with these married men, honey, you are opening up a door for a curse to come on your life. It's a seed you're planting. And baby, guess what? You're going to get a harvest. And I'm still sleepy, okay? <laughs> Look at my eyes. I'm still sleepy. You're going to get a harvest. You have no, no young go, no, no young hungu hogo over here with Joshua, with what's her name, Jody. I'm going to come back and do a video on that. Curse. Read the Bible. That adultery, God don't play with it. There's a couple of sin, all sin is sin. Okay. Pride is the number one sin that God hates the most. There's pride. There is crookedness. Twistedness, which is right under pride and that adultery. Like if you could put sins in level of order, that adultery does something to God because you're reminded, no more, no more, no more, because God has uh, Jesus pay for our sins of how Israel cheated on him. If you, if you read the Old Testament, the, the, the first five books, God would always bring up how I've been good to you. But what did you do? You go bow your knees to another God. So this is why, ladies, my single ladies that stand for stay away from married men, please. Curse. And some of these married men have no character, no integrity. So we have to protect ourselves from them. They want what they want. We want what we want too. I want my own husband. What the Bible said, let every woman have your own husband. Let every man have his own wife. And I'm not about to mess up because of a married man the devil is a lie child they would be looking at me i said no thank you honey i'm not trying to mess up my future i would have never gotten that good husband laying upstairs if i was messing around with married men girl that man's so good to me he's so good i was 
going up the stairs today. He was coming down the stairs yesterday. He has on his, you know, suit and tie, going to work. I'm looking at him like, we're home alone. Well, Michael went to morning care. <laughs> like, the fan picked her up. It's just me. And you. <laughs> I was going to just to get my jacket. And I'm looking at him like, hey, Mike. What's up? <laughs> would have never gotten that good husband if I opened up the door for a curse to come into my life by messing with a married man. Single ladies, if you want to be married, please stay away from married men. Find out if they're married, if they've ever been married. <sighs> but anyways, he says she's a dum-dum. We agree with you, Simon. She's a dum-dum. Now, I will not question somebody's mental state because mental health is so vital and especially in the black community black church where everything was a demon and mental health was not addressed but x out the mental health comment because i just think there are certain things don't talk about men, people's mental health and don't talk about people's uterus. <laughs> okay. That, you know, because some people do struggle with mental health issues. Okay. But if I don't know, I and I if I remember, I can't remember, but I, I think I don't remember. Okay. No, it's different than me calling Chelsea crazy because obviously Chelsea's crazy. Well, like I said, it on Love is Wild, on my video, I don't know for a fact if she has mental health issues. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Let me uh, thumbs up, share this out. Thank you for your love and support. Thank for those of you picking up your Hey Cousin t shirt. It's on the link. I hope you got the freebie for. Um, The Leah in me. Oh, the Leah in me. Oh, I love that little ebook. I'm going to write some more about it. So let's read this article by the Jasmine, Jasmine Brand. Shout out to the Jasmine Brand. Well, let's see what Jasmine got to say about this here. Uh -huh. Simon uh, Gobadia tells people who influence Portia to divorce him, please step up and own your mental state of health. Okay, anytime that word mental is kind of mentioned, I, I'm just a little sketchy about it, okay? Um, uh, she's update number two, Marjorie Simon has a message for whoever influenced Porsche to divorce him. The businessman took to his Instagram. So I wrote on Wednesday, Marsha, if you are behind Porsche file for divorce, please step up and own your mental state of health. Uh, mine's dumb, dumb, dumb grass, dumb grass. Okay. Minutes later, he uh, reiterated, if you are behind Portia filing for divorce, you should own your mental state of health. Did not tarry her on the on her own accord. Mm. Oh, here you go. If you're behind Portia filing for divorce, step up and own your mental health. If you are behind Portia Fon for divorce, you should own her emotional state of mind. Wow. Simon seems to be letting Portia go. Uh, the Nigerian businessman appears to have stripped most images of him and Portia Williams from his Instagram, leaving only their wedding photo. Now, didn't he say last week he loved his wife and he gonna love his wife? He going to keep loving her. So, so why, Simon, what happened? You don't love her no more? Simon might uh, be single for real, y'all. His IG is almost Porsche free aside from their wedding photo. Y'all think these two will get... No, they can't get back together, Mary. No, no. Despite the move, it might be safe to say Simon Gab Gabadia is in good spirits. He shared a selfie from Atlanta Hawks game and wrote a positive message in the caption, Go Hawks. This looks, like, this looks like Simon is not ready to give up on his marriage. Yeah, that's what he said, child. But right, I will not stop loving my wife. 
I will stop loving my wife when divorce is final. But she's already out with a new woman. Um, use the new, this is Portia asking for prayers. Why you didn't ask for prayers when you was laid up with that married man, Portia? We don't feel sorry for you. You gonna get everything you were supposed, you're supposed to get. And let me just say, let me just say, let me take this down. For the fact that Portia went to that woman's house. Huh? You went over to Fallon's house, saw her husband and that big old empty house. And you wanted it. Things is not going to work out for Portia. Now she's supposed to be back over there with Dennis which is where you should have stayed with the first place with the father of your child. But no, no, no. You saw something shiny over here and you wanted the shiny object over here when you should have tried to work out that relationship with the father of your child so that your father can have the child in the home. Your child can have a father in the home so she don't turn out to be a dumb dumb like you. And learning how to love herself, because obviously Portia don't love herself. She's just running after this one, this one, this one. You just trying to get a man. No, 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 boo-boo, Portia. Return to your first love if you ever loved God, because there is no way, Portia. You was really born again. You wasn't saved. There's no way you was re really converted, Portia. Going over to that one. I tell you, that thing annoyed me so Girl, that thing annoys me so bad that she went to that woman's house and stole that woman's hoes. Anyways, I have to go. I have time. I'll do the other video about the new girlfriend. Ain't she cute? She's such a cutie. I like her better than Portia. <laughs> I love y'all. Let me know what you think. But Simon said Portia's dumb, dumb. I knew he I knew we would agree on something. Let me know what you think. Love you. Oh, remember, remember, uh, my husband profile profile begins April 6th. I am currently doing interviews. Uh, the Leah in me. How many of you got that in your email yesterday? If you did not, go on to Janice Hilton and pick that sample up. Dance for date is coming very soon. The my husband profile course begins April 6th. If you did not sign up, please sign up email me so we can set up our one and one i have a very long weekend this weekend so let's try to get you in for your one and one for the my husband profile i love you my darlings talk to you later Portia is a dumb dumb Portia is a dumb dumb bye guys